What's up YouTube? How's it going? Back again for another random video. Here's part two to the video I originally made. Um, what I like and don't like about my 2016 GMC Sierra Elevation Edition. I got a lot of hates and a lot of dislikes and miserable comments on it so I had to disable the video and probably do the same for this so I don't give a shit. I'm just showing you guys what I like and don't like about this truck. So get the views, bear with me, check it out. Now this is pretty much a base model truck with just a looks package, give or say. So let's go over some more things I like and don't like about this truck. And uh, you the buyer, the watcher that wants to pick up this model, well, I'm here to tell you some more stuff I don't like and like about this truck. Now here is the remote for this vehicle. It came with four sets of keys. So that is awesome. Two car starters at the top, which was extra. Sorry for the wind noise. And uh, still comes with a key, no push start. Unfortunately, no push start. Disc brakes all around, of course. This is a very heavy truck, 5,300 pounds. I did mention in my last video that it does not have a locking, uh, a, sorry, a capless gas tank. The 2017 models do. Another thing I did not realize, this truck comes pre-bed sprayed. So it's like undercoated pretty much, it's very rock hard. See the difference? Now if you look underneath the truck, the frame and everything about this vehicle is great. It's all brand new of course. Not a big fan of the tires, they are continental tires. I wish that they gave different tires. A lot of people are bashing these tires, saying they weren't the greatest tires. I've driven 5,000 kilometers on them, and uh, the front tires where the engine is is starting to wear out a little bit. Another thing I like about this vehicle, not only did I have to buy this myself, of course everyone loves that, but it comes with a full-size spare. A lot of trucks, sorry, a lot of vehicles don't, it's mostly just a truck thing. It's just a truck thing. Not a fan of the single pipe. I would prefer a dual exhaust system. I don't even know if any models come with that. Um, Dodge has it an up on that. The Hemi that I've driven <clears throat> and heard recently. Dual exhaust. Nice throaty sound. But I do like the side steps that I've mentioned in my other video. Single pipe exhaust, nothing special. Uh, I don't really care. I'm just letting everybody know what I don't like and like about this truck. Now if you look really close, you can see where it was sprayed. I didn't mention that in my last video. It's nice that it's already like coated really hard. I will be undercoating this baby. This is a double cab truck. It's not a crew cab. I like that the new model, the 4x4 sticks out. The other one doesn't. Not a fan of this antenna. I went a couple weeks without even realizing that, and I had an antenna there, I was just like, what, that's old school. Not a fan of that shark fin for reception, that's just old school, that's got to go. I love this package, how the mirrors match the color of the truck. Moving on to the front here, anything else I can notice? You can get this emblem sprayed, I didn't really care to, and I'm also not a fan of this little lip down here to give you like one mile per gallon increase but but it is super easy to take off you probably can't see it on camera but there are bolts in there unlike the other GMC trucks before it's time it was super hard to take off because you had to remove the whole front fascia of the truck and the grill and everything else well that's just bolts all the way around nice and simple I love the emblem of the elevation the jack and everything is underneath the vehicle. I know what kind of vehicle I was buying before I was buying it. Okay, I'm just saying. Wish it had leather interior. Headrest move at the back. <clears throat> That's nice. No back uh, window, of course. It's a nice truck. Lots of pockets. The speakers are decent. Nothing special. This particular truck model, in case you didn't watch my other video, did not come sprayed. If it did, it would say a GMC logo on the back. I got it line -X'd. 
I will be getting a tonneau cover on this baby very soon. What else didn't I like and like? So the washers are mystified, which is nice. Unlike a lot of the other vehicles, they're like thick blotchy, use up all your damn shit. I like how this projects right onto the window. Not a whole lot of features on this vehicle, unfortunately. Floor mats were extra. I, had <coughs> I got those included in my deal. So they only, they give you the truck, but they only put the remote start on two key fobs. This truck does not come with a heated steering wheel. I wish it did. No control buttons. No push start. Touch screen navigation. Only works when you plug in your iPod for Apple CarPlay. 7 inch screen. Speakers go up to 63 volume. And it's a fairly quiet truck. Another feature I like about this vehicle. Let's go through the stuff here since... <clears throat> I didn't talk about 3.1 liters per 100k switches from V8 to V4 mode that is awesome of course the V6 mode I'm pretty sure powers down to V4 so it's all reading in KPA tire pressure I didn't talk about this before you hold this down watch the speedometer as you're driving it like switches it's pretty neat so Boom, miles per hour. So now when you go through the features, the units are in American, miles per hour, 89 miles on my trip, 17 miles, 17.9 bleh, miles per gallon averaging for a truck that weighs 5,300 pounds, not bad. I feather it once in a blue moon. 41 PSI all the way around. that up to metric for Canada, Canada, and I do like the gauges up there like that, how well, they switch those around compared to the Dodge gauges. Here's the speaker system. It's fairly loud but not amazingly loud. The passenger does not receive lights on the visor. Another thing I did not like. Everybody gets an oh shit grip, except for, oh no, I, sorry, there's a step in, but there's no step in for the driver. There is no shit grip, and they all come down nice, seatbelts all lock nice, LED fogs, and this is, buddy told me that this is where all the accessories were, so they just put this random pocket right here, which makes total sense now. On the door itself, the stuff you touch is actually padded. The stuff you don't touch, hard ass plastic. Let's rev this motherfucker. There's the horn. Column shifter, unfortunately, like I said in my last video, no little automatic. <clears throat> Let's touch base on this system right here. So, it's not terribly laggy. Bluetooth vehicle, radio, language, time and date. You can turn off the display, return to factory settings, software information to update it. My USB ports are still not working. They only worked for about a week afterwards. So in that case, it might be uh, an update issue. I already looked at the fuses on the side of the vehicles. In case you're wondering where the fuses are on these vehicles, they're right here, a little fuse. They're on both sides. Passenger and driver. So you just pop those off, I read through the manual, and uh, still nothing about that, so I can't get the USB ports working, which are right here. You gotta plug it in to that one. <clears throat> now there is a 110 volt outlet right below here. On the fully loaded model, it's up more with like seven other accessories. Got another 14 volt, 12 volt, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And when your phone is connected, you know, you can 
talk on the phone just like that. Projection. Projection is when your screen on your actual, sorry, that was a French move. Projection, whatever your phone's displaying, that's what it will display on this screen. Now the fully loaded models all terrain come with an 8 inch touch screen. This is a 7 auto audio gallery connect support device. Unfortunately my iPhone to USB is not working. Phone OnStar and there's your OnStar. It only lasts a 3 months Canadian. <coughs> and in case you guys are wondering you can pause this and take a look at this for yourself. This does not come with a backup camera or the bed line sprayed. I had to pay extra for that. Or the remote start. Sorry. Everything was extra. Everything that's standard is right here. So go ahead and scam over this. Scan, skim, whatever. There's all your features. The truck was about $46,000 Canadian plus tax. Average fuel cost, 2800 I doubt that. 5.3 liter V8, 6 speed automatic, direct injection vehicle. Not really a whole lot else to talk about, 6 speaker system. I do like when you pop the hood that the hood stays up on its own. I do like the color of the paint, it's like something metallic, it's fucked up kind of name. Seats do fold up in the center, sorry, in the back where the jack and everything is, but there's a hump for the transmission. And underneath the vehicle, everything is pretty well flush. Everything's sitting up high. They put a crossbar underneath there. There's a fuel tank, brake lines, everything. Very easy to access. They're running the cable wires for the electrical system. Everything's good. It's your drive shaft, everything looks fine, you know? This is a decent vehicle. No power pedals. You know, everything is just pretty much uh, stock. So, there you have it, YouTube. Really wish they put a push start in this. That would have been a nice little feature for GM. Well, leave your likes and comments. And then another thing I didn't like was the, put your glasses in here. One of my first things I noticed, look at that, they don't even fit. Look at that, those are just regular glasses. You want to scratch the shit out of them? Give her. No sunroof in this model. Yeah. And then when you pull down my visor, there's nothing. No mirror, nothing. That's pretty much all I can think of for the part two and the final part of my video. Though I do like this mirror for the trailers, it is integrated into the window so it's not a bump or nothing it's just it's integrated right in that's new for 2016 I do like that it sticks out like that there you have it YouTube brake lights look good and there are lights underneath the bed that's another nice little feature but that's my very first video and if there's a backup camera it would be right there so thanks for watching YouTube please like and subscribe for more random videos pretty much nailed it on everything I don't like and like about this truck I love how they integrated the color with the mirrors and everything else. That was a very expensive $3,900 package bumper paint job. There's only three colors that it comes in. Blue, gray, metallic gray, sorry, and black. I bought this at nighttime hoping it was black. I get it during the day, it's black. It's gray. The rim color stays the same for every truck model, I'm pretty sure. But you know, super little things like capless, Backup camera, buttons, heated steering wheel, rear view mirror, with, uh, sorry the slide window, but all been nice for just a base model truck. So come on GM, step your game up. And I thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more random videos. Talk to you later.